Hey church, thanks for checking out this week's Afterthought. Uh, this week we were talking about the fourth beatitude, which is blessed are those who hunger and thirst for righteousness, for they shall be satisfied, or another version says, for they shall be filled. And I just want to tell you, um, if you have a chance and didn't hear the message, um, it was just a powerful time. You can go to our website, hopeassembly.org, and listen to the sermon through our podcast. I'd encourage you to do that. Uh, I want to talk about this idea of that um, when we hunger and thirst for righteousness, we talked about righteousness being Jesus Christ, our righteousness, that imputed righteousness that we have through Christ. And this kind of hungering and thirsting, this craving and longing, basically for Christ and who Christ is to us. Um, and that, that the promise there is that we will be filled or we will be satisfied. And what I want to emphasize is the perpetual nature of us longing, hungering, thirsting for that righteousness and the perpetual nature of us being filled by that righteousness. I was reminded of the scripture where John the Baptist actually says in regards to Jesus, he was talking about, he said, look, I must decrease so that he can increase in my life. And this is kind of what I think about. The first three Beatitudes, we were kind of discussing a whole process of emptying ourselves of ourselves. Blessed are the poor in spirit, having a proper perspective of the kingdom of God, that we are a bankrupt in ourselves. Blessed are those who mourn, recognizing that we're sinful people. We mourn our sinful state. Uh, blessed are the meek, recognizing that our identity is in Christ and Christ alone. It was all a process of emptying ourselves. And in the fourth one, we come into this kind of turning point where now we're being filled with the righteousness of God, which is Christ Jesus himself, that we have the righteousness of Christ, that he who knew sin became sin so that we might become righteous through him. Um, it's a beautiful thing, but it's a perpetual state that we are continually emptying ourselves. We're continually becoming less, decreasing, and in our decreasing, longing for more of Christ, and Christ is continually coming and filling us with his goodness and with his glory, transforming us into his image. Now we all, with unveiled face, the scripture says, as beholding in the mirror the glory of God, are being transformed into that same image from glory to glory. I want to encourage you, uh, like the psalmist David said, as the deer pants for the water brook, so my soul longeth after thee. He said, one thing that I desire and that I will seek, that I might dwell in the house of the Lord all the days of my life, that I might behold his beauty, that I might inquire of the Lord. Church, let's be people who hunger and thirst, who long and crave for righteousness, who long and crave for Jesus Christ and his image in us, because he promises that as we do that, he will fill us. God bless you.